The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. It is time for your first championship match of the evening. Representing Monday Night Raw, the Intercontinental Championship is on the line. And here comes your number one contender, a man who is no stranger to Intercontinental Gold, a former champion in his own right, as well as a former United States Champion, Tag Team Champion, NXT Champion, Royal Rumble Match winner, the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura earned his way to backlash tonight by outlasting three rounds of a number one contenders tournament over the last month on Monday Night Raw. He defeated Happy Corbin, Damian Priest of the Judgment Day, and just this past Monday night, in an incredible matchup, defeated Cedric Alexander in the finals. Shinsuke Nakamura certainly out to prove himself all over again ever since being drafted to Monday Night Raw and wants to regain a championship he has held before, the Intercontinental title. And Nakamura is going to do it his way by earning it pound for pound, strong style inside of that ring. And what a comparison, what a matchup with his opponent tonight, the invincible Ilya Dragunov. Nakamura and Dragunov sure to deliver a hard-hitting affair in moments here in Minneapolis. Certainly not going to be one we're going to be forgetting about anytime soon. But here comes the man defending the Intercontinental Championship for the first time since winning it back on WrestleMania Saturday. The former NXT United Kingdom Champion and the Intercontinental Champion, the Invincible Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov won the gold by defeating the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne in a hard-hitting clash on WrestleMania Saturday night back in February. Dragunov sat back and watched this number one contender's tournament play out to determine a worthy challenger. And of course, Ilya Dragunov not a man who will step down to anybody inside of that ring. Dare I say, one of the most feared superstars in the Monday Night Raw locker room. Very young in his WWE career, but already accomplishing so much. And Ilya Dragunov, one of the hardest hitters inside of that squared circle. Nakamura, no stranger to getting punched in the face or uppercutted or headbutted, but Dragunov may do all of that better than anybody. This is going to be a big matchup here tonight for the prestigious Intercontinental title, a championship that has been held by so many greats. Triple H, The Rock, Bret the Hitman Hart, Chris Jericho. The list goes on and on, and Ilya Dragunov added his name to that prestigious Hall of Fame list back at WrestleMania. Shinsuke Nakamura, however, wants to do it all over again here tonight in Minneapolis. First championship match of the evening here at Backlash. The Intercontinental Gold is on the line. Let's send things down to the ring for your official pre-match introductions. Introducing the challenger from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds. He is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Ilya Dragunov. What is certainly an international affair, and we wouldn't have it any other way here tonight at Backlash for that prestigious Intercontinental Championship. The King of Strong Style versus the Invincible One. The number one contender, Shinsuke Nakamura versus the champion, Ilya Dragunov. Your first title on the line here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's already been a hellacious night and it's about to continue with some good old fashioned professional wrestling. And here we go. Dragunov takes Nakamura over right off the bell. Again, Nakamura outlasted three very different superstars in three very different matchups to earn his way to Backlash tonight. Happy Corbin in the first round, 
a hard-hitting affair with Damian Priest in the semis. And definitely a clash of styles this past Monday night on Raw against Cedric Alexander. Already Nakamura going for those covers. He wants to defeat Ilya Dragunov, or at the very least, get in the head with those early pinfalls here. But you see Dragunov showcasing some of his hard-hitting abilities, trying to prove to the King of Strong Style that Dragunov can play any game inside of that ring. Dragunov and Pete Dunn certainly put on a showcase for the ages at WrestleMania, that United Kingdom battle before, between two former NXT UK champs. One of the matches that stole the weekend back at WrestleMania in February. Dragunov had a bloody forehead and all, and he came out on the other side of the Intercontinental title. That shows the lengths that Dragunov will go to walk away of this ring with said gold. Now Nakamura in advantage. Down goes Dragunov. We're only about a minute into this thing, but you see it's been already back and forth between the champion and challenger, and quite frankly, I expect nothing less. This is going to be athletic competition, and the better man's going to walk away as the Intercontinental Champion tonight. And there you go again with the momentum swinging back and forth between Dragunov and Nakamura and that elevation lariat by the Invincible One. Both men were atop of NXT at one point. Former NXT Champion versus former NXT United Kingdom Champion. But look at Dragunov there, slingshot lariat. And you see in back-to-back -back maneuvers there, Dragunov proven why we have already told all of you here watching that he is one of the hardest hitters inside of the Monday Night Raw locker room. Nakamura, we don't call him the King of Strong Style just because he can dish out a blow. He could certainly take one as well. And on Nakamura, look at this, going for the kill early, going for that arm bar on Dragunov. And Dragunov able to get out of it, but you got to believe Nakamura there. Once again, didn't really believe he was going to put down Dragunov already, but just trying to get in the head of the champion who muscles up Nakamura, and down he goes. No waste in motion between champion and challenger tonight. And now again, Nakamura sending Dragunov inside out. Back and forth, hold for hold, maneuver for maneuver here for the Intercontinental Championship. And Nakamura, smart to drag, drag it off away from the ropes, but it may have given the champion time to recover here, and yes, it does. You also got to believe, you know, Nakamura, we're stay, sitting here saying that maybe he's just trying to get to the head of Dragunov with some of these early pinfalls and going for the armbar. But at the same time, Nakamura's had a hellacious schedule over the last few weeks, competing in the number one contenders tournament. There's a chance Nakamura may not be coming to this matchup 100% and he knows it. And maybe that is why Nakamura's trying to put away Dragunov early. You saw a moment ago, it looked like he was going for the Kinshasa, but Dragunov was able to avoid it. Now sits out with that power bomb there, and Nakamura gets the shoulder up. These two men have had their foot on the gas pedal ever since the bell sounded, and they are not letting up ever since. Nakamura out of the ring, trying to avoid the champion's onslaught. But Dragunov right there to keep things going. Nakamura avoids whatever Dragunov had in mind. Collar and elbow brings us back to a stalemate, and Nakamura with the arm drag on the invincible Ilya Dragunov. You gotta wonder, all seven men who competed in the number one contenders tournament, I'm sure all, all of them who failed to get to this spot tonight are watching this matchup with a keen eye. Everybody in that Raw locker room would love to have a shot at the winner of this matchup for the Intercontinental Championship. On Dragunov here, look at this. One Lariat, making a dose, squashing Nakamura in the corner. And not done yet as Dragunov a beautiful discus chop, Nakamura goes down, and now into the cover, trying to retain the title, and only a one count there. Again, not to keep repeating ourselves, but it's very important. Nakamura not only knows how to give out those strikes, but he certainly knows how to absorb them and keep fighting, especially in high-profile matches such as this. Championship opportunities don't come around every day, and you gotta make the most of them. Nakamura's looking to do that right here tonight. Dragunov sends Nakamura back into the corner where he just laid him out with two lariats moments ago, but Nakamura there had whatever Dragunov had in mind scouted. A couple of elbows and now a knee right to the heart of the champion. And now Nakamura, a little uncharacteristic here for the King of Strong Style. Any means necessary, however, to walk away champion. Into the cover off the elbow. Dragunov gets the shoulder up. 
You see Nakamura really lined up those maneuvers in perfect order. A couple of knees to the chest, followed it up with an elbow. And now Nakamura with Dragunov overhead. Could have been looking for that Death Valley driver that we've seen him execute throughout the tournament. But Dragunov clearly has been paying attention to Nakamura's moveset and had it scouted, at least for the moment. Nakamura back into the corner. Dragunov's wheels are spinning here on the top rope and just ragdoll at Nakamura. And again, what is the condition of Shinsuke after these last few weeks of action? Dragunov, however, into the corner. Here comes the torpedo. Head butt to Nakamura. Will that do it? Dragunov retains the title. A great Intercontinental Championship matchup. Nakamura gave it his all. But only one man can leave the Intercontinental Champion. And that's the man who walked in with the gold, Ilya Dragunov. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, Ilya Dragunov. The first championship defense in the title reign of Ilya Dragunov in the books. Nakamura will live to fight another day, but you gotta wonder who is gonna be next to step up to the Invincible One for that prestigious Intercontinental Championship. Hey, so I'm on a chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Don't need no cap. I'm a